Okay, we're going live, going live. Hi friends, Lindsay here. I'm back and I brought um, a friend with me, the Build Your Own Bundle. So last month we did the um, first time, for the first time ever, the Build Your Own Bundle where you get to pick out your own designs and um, you know, build a bundle of everything that you know you really liked um, for a heavily discounted price. Well, it was so popular, you guys asked for it again, and so that's what we did. So for the month of April, uh, you will be able to build your own summer bundle. So um, I've linked to that in the de um, description of the video. So um, you can check that out, and um, all you have to do is just add those. Um, 20 items to your cart from that build your own bundle section and then the discount will be applied um, automatically so you don't need a code or anything and uh, we got some really cute summer designs in there I got my like super bright pink summery shirt on because I'm ready for um, well maybe not ready for summer heat but you know to warm things up a little bit um, if I've got some friends out there if you could say hi let me know you can hear me it looks like everything's working great um, but we are going to be doing a project using one of the designs from that um, build your own bundle summer bundle collection um, and it's just really adorable I made one earlier let me grab it oh hey Sabrina <laughs> how are you thanks so much for being here oh my gosh okay so this is what I made earlier Let's see if I can get a good angle Maybe. <laughs> okay, I'll show when I flip the camera down, it'll be easier to see. But anyway, um, I cut out these um, with uh, my Silhouette Cameo 4. Uh, but, you know, if you've got your Cricut or your Stand and Cut, you can cut out the designs, um, you know, the same way. Uh, but I made them self adhesive. So um, it's really easy to like cut out a bunch of pieces and then they already have the glue or adhesive on the back. And then you can just like boom 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 stick them all down make some beautiful cards and that's what we're gonna do so <clears throat> I um, I'll go ahead and flip the camera down and show you uh, what you can do with this so I've got my workspace down here there we go all right all right so basically the key to it all is this product called stick it and it's this really, really thin um, adhesive sheet um, that's double-sided, so it's super, super thin. Um, and there's a backing, I guess you could call it a backing, um, on both sides um, to the adhesive. And it's super duper thin, so when you um, apply it to you know, the back of some cardstock, um, you know, it's not gonna be all you know, bulky or add you know, too much bulk to your, um, to your card so a really great way to use this is to apply some to your cardstock before you cut it that way once you've cut out the design so I cut out these rainbows earlier there's the card <clears throat> cut out these rainbows earlier and I, I had already applied that stick it to the back of the cardstock, and so then basically what you have is um, this backing that you can peel off and stick it down on your card, or you can save this for another project. Uh, but you could see how you know you could like create a bunch of cards really, really quickly with this. Um, the design, this create your own rainbow. Um, I decided to sketch um, in a gel pen, so um, you could also cut that out with. Um, your machine too. I'm going to try and get a really good view of this so you can see. So it's not your eyes. It's there we go. That's there we go. That's a lot better. There we go. Yeah. So I sketched the words um, with just a gel pen, um, but you could totally cut out the letters with uh, the same, you know, the same way with the stick it on the back. And then you know cut them out and you'll, you'll have those teeny tiny little letters that'll have that sticker on the back so you don't have to take out you know worry about glue seeping out from these teeny tiny little pieces um, you basically would just 
stick them down like a sticker around your little ring bell. So um, I really love this stuff. Um, and uh, we will go ahead and I've already uh, cut out the rainbow part, but there's these little hearts that I want to cut out. So I have some cardstock here. And then I have a piece of the stick it. And I need my paper trimmer because basically what I want to do is just cut the stick it um, to the same size as the cardstock. Um, and it's just, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. It's like an inch and a quarter by two and a half inches. I could probably even do it smaller than that. But. And so then you stick it down that like that. So you do have to peel the backing off. And look, it happened all in one go. It was like super easy that time. But um, sometimes some little tweezers can be helpful to peel off the backing. And there's a slit in the back of the sheets. So sometimes that can make it easier to find, you know, where to peel off that backing. Um, and then it's sticky. And so I'm going to put this um, right on the cardstock. There we go. Okay. And it's really, really smooth. Because um, it's just, it's really, really thin. Um, and so then now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the um, backing side down, face down um, on my cutting mat. And I need a blade. Okay, so let's put that in here. I'm using the Cameo 4 with the auto blade, so let's load that in there. So I did also notice that even with that little bit of extra adhesive and that backing that I did need to um, maybe increase the force, you know, or how much was necessary to cut all the way through. Um, so just keep that in mind. I did do a test cut to test that out and it worked um, really that, you know, that always works well. So let me go ahead and we'll switch over to the screen display. So I just have the little um, hearts here. Go to send and yeah, I had I put it, I chose the cardstock heavy, and we're just gonna send that. So that's gonna start cutting here. I'll show you the build your own bundle. Okay, so um, the link in the description will take you to your build your own summer bundle. And then you can um, pick out the 20 designs that you love. Um, there was a couple or, you know, a couple of rainbow ones. I really loved this one. And then this Good Vibes one too. So all with a summer type theme to it. Um, very, very cute. Let's go back over to our webcam. So that did not take very long. Very, very good. And then it cut it out. Perfect. So I have the little teeny tiny little hearts that basically have that like sticker backing on the back. So it's super easy to put this all together. Uh, oh, right. What am I looking for? Okay. So I've already sketched out the create your own rainbow. I just used a uh, gel pen for that on some white cardstock and then um, I cut out the rainbow in three different colors two kinds of pink and one kind of yellow kind of um, kind of how it was um, designed the design all right so I'm just gonna kind of arrange that there and I like that. Okay, look good. 
and here's a little trick too if you maybe don't if you want a, a template you can always take out this and um, this is the negative space that was left after cutting and then you could line that up and use it as like a template to line up your rainbow rainbow slices rainbow pieces but this is like a boho type of rainbow so if it's a little wonky then um just gives it more charm so then basically you just peel off that backing there and you're left with that super thin adhesive so this is like a great way to make um your own die cuts uh for scrapbooking too, you know, if you do scrapbooking or put them in your planner or your journal. And you can make a bunch at one time already with the adhesive on the back. Keep them in your stash. And then you just, you know, have some on hand to kind of mix and match when um, you just want to, you just want to work. All right, so um, it, I found it easy to use these little tweezers to pull off the backing there, just like that. And let's go ahead and build this rainbow. So I'm just using, um, I think this is a 100 pound cardstock. So a nice, um, you know, heavyweight cardstock nice and substantial all right there we go okay I, I got it and then these little tiny little hearts Oops, there's a little piece there I want to trim off there we go oops well yeah if it's a little bit wonky that's fine um, and then you have these little tiny hearts and you can just peel off this backing to reveal the, um, the uh, adhesive. And I think for like really thin and small die cuts like this, um, this type of technique works, works really well, especially for really thin like scripty fonts that you want to cut out. in cardstock um, that can sometimes be hard to get that blue on the back although you do have to get the backing off but you then once you do you don't have to worry about the adhesive like seeping um, under the edges ay 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 there we go, I think I got it. All right, so then you just peel that off there. Put it right there. The same thing with this. This is the one I made earlier. Peel that off. Come on, come on. Go with the program. Oh, I feel like I've had too much coffee. Like, I can't. I'm all shaky. And that might just because, be because I'm on camera, but maybe I did have too much coffee. There we go. Perfect. Let's put that there. And then one more. This one was easy. Okay, so then I'm gonna try and focus this a little bit better. There we go. Okay, and then um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of, this is just metallic thread that I got at the craft store. 
And an easy way to do that is to put some um, adhesive. This is just like a tape runner um, on either side. And then you can take the edge of the thread, stick it onto the adhesive on the back, and then wrap it around like this. You can do it as many times as you want. I kind of like to do a few, a few different times. If you don't get it exactly where you want it, it's pretty um, flexible. You can move it around. Like if I wanted to spread these out, I think this looks good. And then it's all sticking to the back there. Just cut off the excess and cut off a little piece to make a bow. Um, so we'll use that to make the bow. Um, but I'm first going to attach it to the card base. This is an A2 size card base. Um, so it's basically like a standard size um, piece of paper that you just cut in half and then um, score down the middle. So it's um, a five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm gonna add some more um, tape along the back of this. And put that right on there. Could probably even use like foam tape too and pop it up, get a little bit more dimension. But then um, you take, oh gosh, the metallic thread is so fine. Um, but I have a little piece here. And then you just weave it under the threads that you've already um, put onto the card and then you can go ahead and tie a knot or tie a little bow and people will think that you did it all in one piece of thread and they'll never know your little secret. This is so much easier. There we go. And you could do this with a thicker ribbon too. I'm just using um, a very thin metallic thread, but you know, use whatever makes your heart happy. Create your own rainbow, as they say. And then I'll trim the tails. And then there you go, you got a cute little card. And I was able to make two um, by sticking a piece of cardstock, sticking the stick it to the back, and then cutting out all three of the rainbow pieces, and then I'll, I'll still have enough left over to make one more. Um, so there it is. I think I like this one better. Bring it up a little bit more so you can take a look at it. And then I uh, sketched the um, letters here, but you could also cut those out as well. This design is from the Build Your Own Summer Bundle. Um, so check it, that out in the description. Um, you get to pick out your own 20 designs um, to make some fabulous projects um, like this card. All right, so that is all I had. Um, let's see. I have a couple of questions. Um, oh, Sabrina is asking, what type of adhesive paper have you used? Okay, so what I'm using in this project is um, Stick It. And it's just these um, sheets. You can get, get them in different sizes. This one I think is the large size. And it just comes, because this one has um, little slits in the back of it. But it's just a big old sheet. And then I cut it down into smaller sections to just put on the back of a piece of cardstock. And so then I have a piece of cardstock with the stick it on the back. I can then cut out the design I want and then I still have um, this backing on here to pull off and it's sticky. So it's a double sided adhesive and I, um, I really like this. So um, that is called stick it. And then the other um, adhesive I used is just um, a, a tape runner. So you can find these at the craft store. Oh, Wanda says, I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, great. Um, I'm so glad you guys. Um, I That's all I had for today. So I'm going to um, flip the camera back right round so 
So hold on there. Get a little view of my craft room here. Yeah, yeah. Reminds me that I need to do some uh, touch-ups, <laughs> some little, some cleaning. All right, so um, that's what we made. Um, and I'll take some pictures and post them um, in the comments as well. Um, and of course, if you have questions, um, especially if um, you need help um, building the bundle, um, there is, when you go to the, the Build Your Own Bundle page, there's um, a link to, uh, you know, if you need help, like searching it, but um, you can pretty much just, uh, you know, uh, you know, search the different pages um, for the 20 designs that you love the most. Um, and that'll be going on through the end of April. No code needed, just add those um, 20 designs from the Build Your Own Summer Bundle um, section and the discount will be applied automatically. And then you can make a cute little card or a t-shirt or a sticker or, you know, a million different things. <laughs> and if you do, then please show them, what, show them to us. We'd love to see um, pictures of your projects and uh, you can post them in our Facebook group or on our page, um, email to us. Um, so uh, that's all I had. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye friends.